the standards have been set high. So like, good luck, Calix. I don't know if I'm even pronouncing your name wrong, but I don't give a rip. So we're gonna have fun with this one. Now, to be fair, this pr map is pretty rough to retake. So if something unlucky happens first fight, I could theoretically see somebody, you know, playing relatively well and still struggling to get across the joke. But we're going to look at this and not say, hey, what, was this fight team, was this game winnable or not? But what do you need to work on? Because I don't give a rip if this game was unwinnable. Nobody cares. If you were making mistakes in this fight that are translatable to any other, uh, you know, map, that's what you need to work on. Screw rank, get better. When people send me vibes, the goal is not to climb. The goal is to get good. Get good. Have fun and prove yourself so you feel better about yourself. You have a good time. Like, it's fun to improve. Like, don't tie your self-worth onto what rank you are because you'll always be pushing higher and higher and higher. Instead, find enjoyment and, and pleasure and satisfaction out of the process of feeling improved. Right? Hey, I improved at that. I can feel that. That's awesome. Good for me. I did a good job. I put in, I put in good work and I accomplished a goal. Accomplishing the goal is a challenge. That's why that's like like that's why competition exists. The competition isn't so much oh I'm screwing up the enemy team we hate those guys. It's because we need those guys to feel the sense of accomplishing a goal, right? That that's what that's what competition's all about. Calix, okay, all right, yeah, going bridge is is sketchy. Ah! So first things first. You, 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 it looks like you're going that way right now, but that your priority needs to be here to here ASAP, okay? Here to here ASAP. We get there. Nice. Now, now here's the thing. Here's the, here's the really, 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 really lovely thing. We don't have to shoot at Farah until she gets into a, until she forces us to shoot her. Do you hear what I'm saying? Read my lips. No new to, no. Uh, you don't have to shoot Farah until she gets into a location where she demands attention. So, in other words, right here, it would be best for us to shoot Rhineshield or to shoot Zenyatta than it would be to shoot Farah because Farah isn't doing anything until she gets closer. When she gets closer, she's also easier to kill, right? Now, one thing I would say here, chat, do you think our McCree is in the best position our McCree could possibly be positioned right now? Or do you think that we could make a small adjustment? And if so, what's the adjustment? Calix, what do you think? I'm not going to give you guys a lot of time. So the, the goal is that we want to angle as McCree, and we can kind of describe our front line or the, the core as being this right here. So what I want you to do here, yeah, is I would probably swing here. Listen for audio cues. If Farah starts to fly this direction, you're going to have to give it up because she's going to be directly over you, and that's not a duel you want. But you would like to do this. You'd like to do this, get an angle on that Diva, on that Zen, an angle to where that Reinhardt can't hide shield anywhere. Um, maybe an angle on the TP. There's like a lot of things that you could do other than where you are right now. And I would not... Okay, this is maybe okay, but even this is a little scary. Because you see how you're actively pursuing a Farah duel? Risky. Very, very risky. I, I think this might be more of a matchup... Uh, a matchup mistake more so than anything else in other words i don't even think this is like a macro error i think this is just you don't know how like you're making a mistake in chasing a fire you do not, this is not this is not good for you because even if you get the two tap um well you're gonna have to get the two tap through uh like flash two tap with conk right so she's either gonna have jump jet or conk which means this is a if you get this kill you're gonna be like blowing my mind like i, I the odds are not in your favor senor because even if you land the flash, you're entering at one HP, you have to hit a flashbang on a moving target and then hit two headshots at a moving target because a headshot body shot won't kill her because she has mercy beam, right? And then obviously because you pursued the kill, you're dead because you can't get out fast enough for this to work. So this just feels like a matchup error. This is you forcing a duel with Afara um, in a sight lane that is not favorable to you. Look at their comp. Look at their comp. Look at the situation. What do you think? What do you think our Kree could do? Because I'm not going to lie to you. This is not easy. Okay? You're playing on a ridiculously hard map to retake on. But what could you do? I unironically would say, I need an angle on these guys. I must have an angle on these guys. They don't. Yeah, I would hard flank their bridge. Hug the Mega, be hyper aware of the enemy D.Va, but I'd do it. 
you might die, but you you would get so much pressure done. Like, okay, here's the thing. Here's the thing is McCree. You need a sight line, you need an angle. You have neither of those right now. You gotta kill in the Zen, brilliant. But you're still you don't have an angle and you don't have a sight line. You either you either make it work, high risk, high reward, and time it perfectly and click heads and it works great, or you or you swap. Right? Spawn camp the Zen. Um I mean, yeah, it's not a terrible idea. I think I just I think I would rather have you contribute to the fight. I'd maybe shoot a little bit here than spawn camp the Zen. But I would not go here. I mean, this this is okay. This is okay. But the problem is, is you you see the problem with this though is it's like this is okay. But where if you're gonna take this angle, let's put it this way, Calix. If you're going to take this angle here, why are you pressing W? Why did you go from nice corner, nice angle here to I'm on top of point? maintain the sight line and that's all you need to do you outrange this comp heavily outside of zenyatta and random faro rockets there is no reason for you to go i'm going to close the distance against these guys whatsoever especially with the diva on the field yeah i'm just you need a better sight line you're, you're playing your mccree like you're trying to get it up in the face of your enemies at least that's how it looked like on the far and that's how it looked like in the diva you don't need to do that. You do not need to do that. You can do that against Widowmaker comms, Hanzo comms. Uh, if they've got like Arista Sigma and you guys are running Brawl, fine. But you're playing a hero that puts an immense amount of pressure. Don't worry about having a little bit of fall off range. This fight's lost. Nice. Okay. Again, again, I, I appreciate the kill on the Mercy here, but do you see what, what you're trying to do here? This fight's still winnable. Where should we be going as McCree right now? Right dojo, exactly. You do not stay here. You see enemies here. You rotate, establish a sight line. And you AFK spam from here. You need to stop with jamming your face up into this. And it gets worse. You walk towards the diva, not away. Not only towards her, but in away from cover. Here's, here's the thing though, Calix. Here's the thing though. Like people get in the mindset chat, why does McCree have flash? What is flash for? At least most of the time, in my opinion. Depends on very compositional specific, but what what is flash for? Punish over aggression. I think that's a good way of putting it. Yeah, there's, there's a lot, you guys you guys got it. Protect yourself, yeah. I, I agree. I think, for me, flash is what lets you hold long angles and stops enemies from trying to screw with you. Like it's what allow, prevents Tracer from be, basically preventing you from ever splitting. McCree without flash could never split from his backline. I mean, obviously that's an exaggeration, but he would have a much harder time splitting from his back lane. He'd have a much harder time playing long. He wants long sight lines and he wants angles. His flash and roll are there to allow him to hold angles because he can flash you if you try and bully him out or he can roll back to his team. You don't go out looking for flash value. Does that make sense? Like you don't, I don't think, like the way I describe our coach McCree flash is you don't try and look for value with flash. You just you look for value with your gun and you use flash to hold that space very with very few exceptions like flash shatters you know that stuff sometimes but like mostly you don't look for value from your flash and and, and to be honest i'm really torn about this here calyx coach yourself here calyx coach yourself what's the what's what could you do what are your options this by the way this this i understand why you're doing this but i think there's a better way of doing this so you could have, yeah, you could have played this angle here because you always anticipate the fight to eventually go to point and then this angle here is really important. But if you're going to angle off of your main pushing here, where would I, where would you, where should you angle? Deep right. Yeah, I agree. I think you should play here. Because you can still shoot them if they're here, but then you should angle here as the backline backs out, you're already here. I don't think this is good. This feels like the worst of, this feels like too lukewarm. This doesn't feel terrible, but it doesn't feel good in either way. Cause you're like, oh, I could see a, a little more in here, but you could see basically this, you see, you see how much more you can see from here to here? Basically nothing, but you can see a lot more backline. You see how you, get, you open up an entire new angle or a, literally an entire new like sight line down this way that you can't see from here. Yeah, and, and the cover as well, right? So like this is a weird move from you and I, it's okay, but I prefer you to do this here. Either that or stack with your team. 
ignore the angle for the first like little bit just bomb rush you know and then you can either stay here or split off later because you end up main anyway that's fine i would i mm, mm, i'd be really careful about this without roll because this is this is no man's land right here be very careful about this without roll this is good good cover usage very good so that's one of the few exceptions of what we talk about with flash shell. Like you, he was actively looking for it, but w but he's with his team looking for flash. That's the important thing. Now, what's the issue here? Can you guys tell me what the issue is here? No cover. Yep. It's not just no cover. What else is the issue? Ugh. Kind of tying into what we talked about in the previous round. You should be at closest here. Most likely, I would probably be playing here and maybe here. Just enough of a sight line so you can see down there. But really, like, look at where your team is fighting. Your team is fighting bat on mid. Most teams will set up here. They'll get a little early poke, but really at this rank, teams of team fights are going to happen here. In which case, you don't want to be angled here because you're ahead of the team fight. Shoot, we just did this the other day. We just did this the other day. Was it Sigma positioning? Yes, it was Sigma. We don't push. You angle around where the team fight's happening. The team fight's happening on this spectrum, this line right here. Right, you can you have like, and so you angle around this line. You don't angle forward. You can see. Do you see the imaginary line drawn right here? You are ahead of your Reinhardt, which means the enemy team can poke you out, and your Rein Zarya can't do anything. The Zarya could do a little bit, but they can't do anything. So you want to be played further back, where they can't poke you out until they actually commit to the fight, where your team can punish. You you can kind of see like. The, again, like the, the the line imaginary line drawn on the map, where you are ahead of everybody on your team, instead of maybe your Zarya. Now, now, if we look at the enemy team, now you are free to flank. Because you see that they've encroached on your Rhine. A team fight has now started, so now you can position wherever you want. So now you can legit hard flank if you want here. Chat, who should we, be, who should we go for as uh, McCree here? Who is our target priority? Is it Farah right now? Is it Farah right now? Let's, let's go to right here. Because this is when the team fight starts. Who is our target priority right now? Backline. Yep. Backline. Backline or frontline. Frontline probably a little bit less valuable right now, but you could still beat the like absolute crap out of this Ryan Zarya from this position right here. Farah is on the angle, yes, but you cannot see her. So you do not go out of your way to pursue her if she doesn't go into your angle. Um, you can also make an argument here that this against the far it might have been better for you to play here You have to watch for concussive blast But I would have considered playing here if I knew that they were on Farah or they had made the swap to Farah Why because you have a better angle on her a worse angle on backline But a better angle on her if you and your back played here then this far would have a much harder time But right now you are looking at Farah when you cannot reach Farah it's not a mistake that you're not shooting far. Like maybe you could have positioned here, like, but but it's too late. It's okay. It's it's totally fine. You're in a fine position. Go find value elsewhere. You're wasting so much time right now. Like that. This is a. This is. Let me. Let me I, want, I want to put this very clear. I want to make this very clear. Great shot. Terrible decision. This is something that. This is far as dream of hit scans to walk underneath them they they like this far should be foaming at the mouth that you just did that and now you know the best part is is do you see how like this fight is still almost losable like this fight like you're like i killed a mercy how does this fight still feel so bad well look at your positioning this isn't good chat or calyx who should you be shooting right now look at the battlefield do you see this? Look at this. Legitimately free kills. The far walks into you, you flashbang her. And you kill her. Backline. Look at this. Look at these guys. Look at these guys. It's absolutely free. There you go. D there you go. This is more of what we want to see. Do you see this? This. Okay. I'm going to stop right now. Let me, let me give you. Let me establish. Okay. This is this is a good shooting Farah because do you see what's on our screen right now do you see what's on our screen right now we have rotated they tp'd out unfortunate so what do you do do you burst into tears no you continue to rotate to the next cover and now look at your sight line 
Now you get the Farah. Now you get the Farah. And if Farah hides, go on to the BAP. And you just keep going sightline, 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 cover, sightline, sightline, cover, sightline, cover. This is how you like to kill Farahs. You might not even kill Farah. But again, do you need to kill Farah for you to get value? No. This Farah, now that you are here, is not allowed to play the game. You've successfully countered Farah by existing here. And now, and now what can Farah do? What can Farah do? There's nothing she can do. It's over. You have cover. You have sightline. She's done. It's over. I would not move. I wouldn't even chase the Farah. Like, again, great mechanical play, terrible decision. Why would you chase the Farah? You have a sightline on her. What you can do? Stay in your spawn? No. What I do, though, if my team goes and cries that I'm not killing Farah? Well, you see how, like, yeah, so, so like, here's the thing, Calyx. I don't want you to not worry about Farah, but you have, if you can take, actively take a safe sightline on her, then do so. But if for you to counter Farah, you have to go out of your way to pursue her in a really bad way, then yes, you ignore it. You're either miss because so so, so you, you you position in a way that you can't shoot far off. Okay, maybe you could have positioned better. Unfortunate, no big deal. But then you're like, oh shoot, I should be shooting far, and then you double back and try and force it. You force it at the expense of your team. Yeah. Do you see the good thing about this chat? This is pretty greedy, and you don't have a lot of cover. But do we do? Do you think McCree's has an advantage in this duel now? What two things does Calix have besides cover? He doesn't have cover. Easy angle and a nice sight line. This far is not even looking at you. So you have an angle, you have a sight line, that's how it kind of far. Like, if you're playing Widowmaker and you're getting hard countered by Farah, you're, you need to look at your positioning, you need to look at your timing, and you need to be like prop, like, like you need to be, like you need a sight line in, in an angle. That's what you need. A little bit of an element of surprise. Sure, absolutely. Look at that. Now that Farah is doing absolutely nothing. You see that? You just made her screw off. And the thing is, is, it's not just a mutual screwing off. It's you. She screws off, and then you're still here. You're still okay. And I'll shoot Zarya now. <laughs> like you're like okay. Far is gone. I guess I shoot the next target. You know. So uh, you know. There you go. Uh, what's the mistake here, chat? If you're not high nooning, where should you go? Where should you go? Main. Yes. If you're not going to utilize your shield to go for like an aggressive flash play or a high noon play or something like that, then this is your angle, right? Look at look at these. This is like this is like overripe fruit. It's just sitting there to be plucked. And not only that, but by you playing here, what do we allow this Farah to do? She can spam in one location, but also think about Farah positioning. What could this Farah do? If you if we're here, she can't rotate, right? But if we're here, she can conk, jump chat, and she's right here, and you're screwed. You guys are absolutely screwed. Or she could absolutely go behind as well. Yeah, yeah. But like I'm more concerned about the fact that you guys are all stacked, so she just has one choke to spam. Farah dies to this. Farah does not die to this. Because Farah will abuse one cover and spam on one angle. Exactly. You need to stop that from happening and get a better sightline on her. I don't care if you if far plays like this 24/7, you don't care. Maybe maybe you could go for like a greedy pick here, but you don't even need to do that. It's when Farah is going to aggress and abuse a choke, that's when you're scared. And right now, I'm not happy at all. Yeah, here we go. Here we go. Here we go. This is a problem for that Farah. This is good. Now, I'm going to be honest. <laughs> Good luck playing McCree in this map into a Farah. Chat, why, why, okay, why do you think McCree is going to be so bad in the Farah here? Mm hmm. Yeah, there's way too much cover. Bad sight lines. Your sight lines on a Farah playing cover is like split completely from your team. And then all she has to do is like wrap around this way. And then how the heck are you supposed to shoot a Farah that's like spamming this way and then spamming this way? You have to like be on the opposite side of the map. So good luck playing McCree into this. This is where I would absolutely play like. Tracer, uh, I mean Tracer. <laughs> I would probably play Tracer. This is this is rough, and also fall off. Yeah, that's another good point. You guys have you guys have nailed it. This is rough. This is gonna be rough. You get a nice angle here, but like look at look at look at look at this. This is rough. Woo! So what I would do.
The enemy team has no flankers, chat. Okay, so what do you think I'm gonna tell Calix that I want him to do? Now, I know this is feeding, but I don't care. What do you think, what do you think, what do you, what do you guys think? Yeah, I think I want him to flank. Bastion. <laughs> I think I want him to flank. I think I unironically want to wait for your team to start pushing, and I want you to go this way by yourself and look for something to happen. And I understand for like a lot of different ranks in chat that that might be scary advice, but I think like you're playing a hero that like you're you see how uncomfortable this is going to be. Like I don't know what else you guys do. You guys don't have Lucio speed, so you can't just run in there and kill the Ryan really fast. You're playing like a spam comp, but what can your Zen see? Like what can your BAP see? What can you see? I I, I think I really do think that you you're you're gonna have to flank. I want you to keep going. Keep going. Do you see? So to me, I look at this here, and I'm like, okay, so you're you're already down your line. So like, I think you're 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 very late to the flank. You see this? So like, we would like you already putting pressure here. Okay, so let's put it. Let's be very clear. You're doing the right thing here, but you're doing it way too late, and you're doing it by accident because you're chasing a mercy that got split. You didn't look at the situation and go, oh, I need to flank. There's no tracer. There's no ball. You know, there's a, there's a pharmacy that I can't shoot, so I'm going to flank. You just accidentally came to this decision, um, but you can already see it right now, the good and the bad. The bad is this. This is the bad. The objective is now what, what is Maple supposed to do? That's the bad. Okay, you're already down when your team is backing off. That's the bad. The good is this. Do you see it, chat? Look at the good. This is the good. <laughs> now, I want you to imagine this when your Ryan was still alive. Four people on him, really. Now, I, I doubt if your Ryan was still alive, you'd see this many people going around. But do you see the panic you're causing? And look at you. And are you risking? Are you even risking your life to do this? No, no, no. You roll right off. You're fine. You get you get mini or mega and go right back at it. There's a lot of fear on the enemy team right now. There's there's a lot of fear. Right? That's what you that's what you live off of. My concern well the thing is is Calyx, it's not you just stop doing this. You never did it to begin with. The only reason you're here is because of Mercy Split. You didn't look you didn't make the right decision. You just accidentally came to the right decision. So why are we, are we, why are we, why would we be surprised when you stop doing it? But you see, like, what are you supposed to do here? What are you supposed to do here? Unless you're running a hard brawl comp with like Lucio, that you guys could just rush in here and 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 get value from core without worrying about angles. That's why Lucio speed exists, by the way. So you can sometimes skip map control. You can just rush in, and so they don't get a chance to spam you down. But you're not going to do anything here. There's not. I mean, we're going to play this at like 1.25, but there's you're, there's nothing you're going to do. Yeah, slow down. Yeah, you're just straight up feeding now. You forced it. All you need to do here, chat. What should our McCree do here now? Where should our McCree go? So yeah, 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 yeah. Back up. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Can you imagine if this McCree rolls in here? Holy crap! I feel bad for this BAP because I don't know what I do with it. I don't know if I'm coaching this BAP and there's a McCree in here. I don't know. I don't know what to do. Maybe you just walk in and hug your back to the wall, but then you're like, dude, this kid's gonna flash fan me at any point in time. Back out. Play your sight line. Why are you four hitting in? Again, you're four hitting in. You're four hitting in. The, the lamp doesn't matter if you're sniping him from away. He lamps and then you break lamp and he still can't shoot you. You're four hitting in. Stop four hitting in. Do not give them opportunities to clutch. Ah! Questionable. Massive. Still might lose this though because you guys have no angles. Like, do you see what, do you see what I'm saying? Like you just, you just, you're just four heading down main, and it's equal. It's equally a problem in regards to like your angling, right? So like this fight is definitely the lack of angle. The previous fight is definitely the lack of angle. The fight before that, you had an angle, but then you run it down main. You run into them to abuse the angle, and then the previous map it was similar stuff. You either would clump a team when you shouldn't, or you'd angle. But then you'd run it down it. And the same thing happened in the first map. You got to a good position, first fight, and then you walk into the Zarya. Second fight, you get a good angle and you walk into the Diva. Your existence on an angle on a sightline. Now, if they hard ignore you, if they ignore you or they don't even know you're there, then yeah, you have to establish your presence. Go in there and land a couple of shots. 
go for the back line. <clears throat> but just your presence here was enough to cause pressure. Hit your shots, demand attention, and then survive. While you do need to be using damage as a measure of pressure, when you can click shots. So in other words, if you have the opportunity to click, you need to be clicking. But if they're, but if they're all respecting you and you can't click any heads, then you've done enough. <clears throat> so I think the main thing for you is to establish a sightline, maintain sightline uh, on an angle. And, 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 and don't force yourself to run in there and get kills or trades. Like even in your description of the VOD you sent, you're like, oh, I don't want to go in there and trade because I'll be, I might die and you know, they've got rest. Like you shouldn't be, you shouldn't even think about trading.